I have the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 6 and in today's tech tip, I'll be showing you how to scan documents with this phone. So you can scan documents using the camera on your phone and you can either do that using the default camera app. So for instance, if you open the camera app, let me just go back and you have a document like this one, just put it in the viewfinder and the camera app will detect that this is a scannable document and then you'll see this letter T on the side here okay so just put it in frame once you see this uh, little border arrows in the four corners just tap on the t that's going to scan your document now you have a couple of options so if you just tap on scan once it's been captured you have the option to now resize this document you can adjust the edges if you want to okay and then tap on save now that document is gonna be saved as a scanned document, but it's going to be saved as an image. So if you go to your gallery, you should find your scanned document. Now, this is not very clear because I wasn't, I wasn't very stable. So let's actually do a retake and try to be as stable as possible and keep the phone as straight as possible. Now let's see if this is a better one. So let's tap on scan and tap on save. And let's hope this one is going to be a better document scanned. Yes, this one is much more clear as you can see. And that is basically how you can scan documents with your Galaxy z fold 6 now the only problem with this is that this saves this document as an image okay so if you go into the details you can actually see this is saved as an image it's a jpeg if you want to scan and save documents as a pdf then you can use the google drive application so google drive normally is in here and if you don't have it you can always install it and sign in with the same google account so if you go into google drive if I can find Google Drive, here it is. So here's Google Drive. So what you want to do is open Google Drive and then tap on the plus icon right here to create a new document and then tap on scan from the menu. Now that's going to open a document scanner. So all you have to do now is position your phone like that with the borders all around. And when you stay steady enough, Google Drive will automatically capture that scan. Now, if your document has more than one page, so for instance, if I want to scan the back part of this document as my second page, all I have to do is tap on the plus symbol. Beg your pardon, let me do that again. So let's scan the first page again. So you have the option to either do it manually or keep it on auto capture. I think auto capture is the best option because all you have to do now is hold your phone steady and the Samsung Galaxy will automatically capture that for you. So that's the first page. The second page is here. If you tap on the plus symbol, it allows you to do another scan. So let's say you have a multi-page document. You can always go and scan all the documents like this. So as soon as you hold it steady, it's going to be the second page. If you have a third page, you can go ahead doing all that. When you're done, just tap on done in the top right corner. If you want to do a retake, you can always tap on retake. And that's going to delete your, pre your most recent scan and allow you to do a retake. If you want to add filters and stuff like that, you can always do that. When you're done, tap on done in the top right corner. As you can see, this is going to be saved as a PDF. But of course, if you want to, you can have it saved as a JPEG, but let's leave it as PDF. Choose where you want your document saved. And also you can be able to rename your document. I'm just going to call mine test scan and then tap on done and then eventually save. Okay, so allow you to save your scan. And as you can see, here's our scan. So it's in PDF format. I can always open it and it's going to open 
as a PDF document, and that's my first page and my second page. That is basically how to scan documents on your Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 6. Thanks for watching. Comments and questions down below, and good luck.